better than the M4A1. More accurate than the M13. Kills faster than a cracked out MP5. This is the... Yo, what the hell? Who said to roll the intro right now? That's a little anticlimactic. All right, well, whatever, guys. We're talking about the Ram 7 today. And uh, yeah, it's super overpowered. Check out this class I'm going to give you guys. You got to use it. It's insane. Not now you can play the intro, bro. Yeah, not now. Please. What is up guys, my name is Nick and welcome back to another Modern Warfare video man. Today we're going to be talking about the Ram 7 for whoever has this gun. This is literally better than the M4A1, better than the M13 and better than the MP5. Now it does have its downsides to it. I will say that it feels heavier than all these guns. So the movement speed is a lot slower obviously. And so it has that slow ADS speed, that slow movement speed. But at the same time man, once you start shooting this gun, it is such a fast killer. It's actually the fastest time to kill for assault rifles in the entire game. So trust me guys. Use this class, it's great for Warzone, great for multiplayer, and literally, guys, it's just great for everything. So, let's get into it. Before we do, if you guys could drop a like, we're gonna go for 2,000 likes on this one. Let me know down in the comments below if you guys have the Ram 7 or not, and if you guys like it or if you guys forgot about it. I'm gonna be completely honest, I forgot about this gun up until a few days ago, and then, <laughs> man, it's crazy good. And uh, yeah, so subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here with those notifications turned on, and let's get into the first attachment. The first thing you wanna run is the Barrel FSS Ranger, and this is great because because it gives you damage range, it gives you bullet velocity, and it gives you recoil control. And this is one of those attachments that you want to run whether you're playing multiplayer or warzone. It's really good for those range shots. And you're going to be hitting people really damn easily and knocking them out fast. The fire rate is crazy. Now, it does take away some ADS and movement speed, but it's all good at the end of the day. I mean, it's not... It sucks. <laughs> like, I, I hate losing those, but it's not the end of the world. I'd rather have the range. The next thing is the stock, the XRK close quarter stock. And this is to give us back a little bit bit of the ADS speed that we just ended up losing but it does take away some aiming stability and for those of you guys who aren't aware the aiming stability isn't as important as the recoil control and stuff like that the aiming stability is just when you're aiming down sights it's how stable your gun is so if it's swaying a lot or if it's staying completely still and with this one right here you barely notice a difference it doesn't even sway too much so don't worry about that the under barrel is something that I like to run on this class and it's the commando foregrip now normally I would go ahead and throw on the merc foregrip because the merc foregrip gives you recoil control and it gives you hip fire accuracy which is super good for up close but for the commando foregrip i rather have the recoil stabilization and that aiming stability that we just lost so it's as if we never lost aiming stability to begin with which is the reason i'm running this attachment on it right here now again it does take away some movement speed and i will tell you guys right now this gun kind of feels like an lmg when you're running around it doesn't feel like an assault rifle it kind of feels like an lmg but at the end of the day it's still better it still kills faster than that m4a1 and it's a lot more accurate or at least as accurate as the m13 the next thing you want to run is the ammunition and that is going to be the 50 round mags this is a great ammunition to run in my opinion you get 50 bullets you don't have to worry about reloading all too much but the only downside to this again is the fact that it takes away ads speed and movement speed but at the end of the day you get those extra bullets so you're barely reloading your gun you could get a bunch of kills as you guys can see in the gameplay right here without having to reload imagine you get into a situation where you only have 30 bullets you go up against a guy you start shooting him and then you have like 10 bullets left or five bullets left and two enemies run out the corner you're gonna have to reload you're probably gonna die but with the 50 round mags you still got an extra 20 25 bullets in there to go ahead and get them out so trust me the ammunition is kind of important on this one and i really like running those higher round mags all of a sudden ever since warzone came out i realized how good they are and it's really worth having now the last one that you want to throw onto this here and this is what kind of makes it pretty good a lot better than if we didn't throw this on is the rear grip stippled grip tape now i would normally again throw on the rubberized grip tape for that recoil control but this gun is already super accurate it's pretty much a laser to begin with and the rear grip stippled grip tape you get that ads speed and you get that sprint to fire speed that sprint to fire speed is probably the most important one so go ahead and definitely run this right here now you do lose some aiming stability but thankfully we do have some attachments that give that back to us so that's the class right there guys go ahead and use it we're going to keep this video nice and short if you guys enjoyed it 
make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here with those notifications turned on and like i said if you guys can let me know down in the comments below if you like the ram 7 or not just let me know and if you made it this far into the video comment something completely random about the m4a1 anything you want you can be like the m4a1 is better with the blue barrel and no one's gonna know what you're talking about and that's what makes it funny so yeah that's gonna be it guys thank you for watching my name is nick sub with those notifications turned on and i'll catch you in the next one peace